Hi everyone, I hope you are. This is Coins Kid. Just going to dive into Monero, but before I get on, I just want to say thank you for your support. Okay, thank you for everything you do to contribute towards the growth of Coins Kid here. I really do appreciate all the, the warm messages, the, the comments, the sh likes, everything. Obviously, you get the occasional troll. You know that's what happens. People uh, and are, are not right sometimes, and, and they leave horrible comments, and and they're the ones with the problem. So it, it does happen across the board, everywhere. So aside from all that negativity, it, we're all positive. Okay, we're in a bull market, and it's looking really really strong for continuation across the board in my opinion obviously you know you're gonna have pullbacks you're gonna have drawbacks and corrections and that is part of the process and you know we've got to take it on the chin and, and move forward because this this is Monero look at Monero thing of beauty look at this absolutely beautiful and this is what I say to you about that the buy and go to the beach signal right here from coins kid you know this this created this signal last year and if you stick with a channel okay because it is coming okay this is a swing high swing low swing high swing low and potentially you know if, if, if this, as Monero as Monero breaches on now and makes new highs in this bull market, you know, the next bear market potentially come back down to this previous swing low, you know, because just there, that swing low is just off this swing high, basically, or where it started, sorry. So you, you could potentially see that, you know, if it does rocket up into space and comes back down, you could eventually see the rest on a swing high, swing low. So that's, it's just a thing of beauty. I mean, if, if in doubt, zoom out. I mean, look at the progress of this. Look, swing high, swing low, swing high, swing low, swing high, swing low. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And then the, the, the bear market, so to speak, so yeah you're always going to have a bear market and people are disillusioned with the fact that you oh i'm not going to have a bear market oh no crypto is fully adopted uh no uh, mark my words you're gonna have a bear market okay it's part of the cycle of adoption in an emerging market so effectively what you might be looking at for, for monario shooting off into space up there somewhere and then coming back down eventually and resting in potentially that the previous swing high of a swing low in the bear market so, and that's how it works effectively so who knows how deep that particular bear market could go for monero but so far so good it's making progress okay we've got the buy and go to the beach signal from coins kid and if you remain in this bear market with the channel stick with the channel i will give you boom here we go here we go guys and girls buy and go to the beach see you later because we formed that bullish cross down here for the buy and go to the beach signal for, for monero and and all projects you know because this is the bear market when you're under the emas you're in a bear market when you're above them you're in a bull market and as you're holding the support for continuation you're golden okay so so far so good monero is looking beautiful it's got a little bit of extended here i'm not going to lie to you it's got a little bit of extended you can see that it's been going up in these beautiful waveforms and like i said to you where does each each swing low rest look boom previous swing high previous swing high previous swing high and then obviously that swing high as well from the break but you can see each time it's going up what's it doing it's beautifully resting on the previous swing high so this has got a little bit of extended now if it was to roll i'm not saying it will but if you did see a market correction then do just sit back and anticipate that you could actually get involved in monario on that previous swing high but right now it's actually breaking its all-time high which is good because it needed the strength to get through it that's the all-time high right there for monero that particular price prediction right there uh, price for, for for monero right now i'm going to drop a fib on it in a minute but i just want to so, show you organic structure basically this this is what i want to see in charting this is what i want to see i don't want to see these rocket ships into space because like i said to you you buy green candles you get big big red dildos just like here when you bought this big red candle what happened Pfft, see you later bear market you know that's what you don't want you don't want it to shoot off into space too much it's starting to look a little bit like this structure here okay you don't want that so you're going to see a roll in my opinion eventually for for monero for, for continued growth because otherwise you're going to start and go too parabolic so what, I'm, what what I do anticipate, if it continues to, to break this now, because you can see it's basically resting on the previous all-time high right there. If it does continue, this is a weekly time frame, by the way. Don't forget, that's a weekly time frame. If in doubt, always zoom out. So right now, you can see it's actually broke its all-time high. It, the current all-time high is just there at $517, I believe, okay? So it's doing well. It's currently trading at 472 It's doing really, really well. And what you don't want it to do now because it's broken the high you don't want it to roll over and rest on this particular swing high to be honest with you let it go a little bit more parabolic and then rest on this previous swing high of the the previous bull market as support so effectively yeah allow for a little bit more extension but when it does come back down it needs to hold this as support okay this previous swing high because that's what you need to see for continuation effectively now if it does lose that then obviously target if you do start to see it roll then obviously target a fantastic buyback 
on on 287 but I, I don't i don't particularly think it will come back that far because it's got that overextended it's needed to get that overextended to actually break the previous high so if it continues now because there's a hell of a lot of support for it if it does continue and just continues to go a little bit parabolic then do anticipate it land on the previous swing high support which is good for confirmation of a continuation for for, for uh, xmr here now right now you can see the ema is a little bit extended on the weekly as well so you are looking at a relatively correction uh, coming from an arrow relatively soon okay because you are starting to get a little bit too vertical and like i said to you, you don't buy green candles you get red dildos so effectively just wait for it to cool down a little bit and see where it rests okay so that's a little bit of uh, advice on Monero, but obviously i'm not telling you what to do with your money i'm not a financial advisor but right now it looks great but as, uh, as you're aware unless you start to go a little bit more parabolic and rest on this swing high where are you going to fall back to you're obviously going to fall back to this swing high here and where the emas are so you could be looking at a whopping correction from monero right there from here you know if it doesn't proceed to go on you, you could be looking at a whopping 40 percent correction to coming back down to this swing high because that's what it does look because swing high swing low swing high swing low swing high swing low rest on the previous swing high for, for a good continuation nice organic steady growth right there it's got a little bit extended a little bit overextended but it's not bad you want it to continue and roll on that swing high basically if it does fall through that then target that particular area area there as an entry point to get involved effectively you know let's lay down the price prediction for so you've got the buy and go to the beach signal for for coins kid from coins kid here okay this buy and go to the beach signal basically a bullish cross on the weekly ma boom see you later alligator we're on and i'll give you a video yesterday on a particular project that's literally just formed that a few is it a month ago i think it has and there are other projects that i'm going to be rolling out over the next few weeks so pay attention okay because there's a lot of these projects that have done that that are actually retracing to the high now you look at look at monero got there boom okay because it started its bull run early it started its bull run last year in august okay and all these other projects that are starting now coming out of traps they're running into alt season so that's where you're going to see that appreciation against bitcoin okay that alt season it's not necessarily in ethereum or monero or litecoin or ripple or anything like that you're going to see it primarily on these smaller low cap alts that go that explode that go parabolic and you're scratching your head why because they're retracing to a high of a previous bull run and that's what it is that you know swing high swing low effectively so that's why i'm pretty confident that those particular little gems that were dropping in the channel right there are going to get there not financial advice but you know they've been around the block okay they were once up there come back down the bear market and you can see the retracement how they get there so effectively these have already gone there bitcoin uh, ethereum um xmr other projects think litecoin's already got to its all-time high i think you know those various blue chip projects they've already had the run boom and now you're looking at the mid low caps having their run there you go simple that's old season effectively 101 but with monero then it's got to its high as you can see and it's it's sort of resting under it so to speak right there it's you know it's a weekly time frame so what i'm going to do is lay down a price prediction after this level of like if it calls if you do start to see it's it taking off into space right now that's bad yeah that is bad you don't want that because it means it'll roll and lose these key levels of support but if it does get, get up and just rests on this eye that's fantastic okay and consolidates fantastic you know i will drop that in for you right there that previous high you know if it does start to go a little bit parabolic which is roughly about what it's trading now anyway so it's sort of under the, the previous all-time high so to speak but if it does start to go a little bit parabolic and, and rest on the high that's confidence of the fact that you're going to continue okay because right now you could look at a nice little price prediction for here off off uh xmr moving forward you could potentially be looking at this for monero okay so when it went down in in the bull market top just there the cycle top of 2017 at that bull run and then you know obviously january 2018 everything started to correct and roll and lost the emas again a precursor to this particular sell and go to the beach signal from coins kid just here is when you lose emas i'm going to tell you everything okay you only have to look at charts to see this this is a 20 weekly moving ema okay and this is the 55 the red line is the 55 when the yellow line crosses the red line that's you sell and go to the beach signal that's confirmation that you are in a bear market but there is a precursor to that particular signal from coins kid it's basically you're losing the emas you're hitting your head hitting your head and then you're under the 55 boom game over see you later alligator i'm, go I'm selling i'm going to the beach so then you you ride the bear market okay and you wait for another signal and you can see you almost got it a couple of times here okay you almost got it but no it got rejected and rolled again then we had the corona dump last last march do you remember that and as it came back up it made the the bullish cross on the weekly time frame here where the yellow line the 20 ma crosses a 55 okay boom bullish cross buy and go to the beach see you later bull market in full swing because right from that moment then 
you know, Monero is retraced up a whopping 600 and some percent with a potential to get to around 3,100 percent there, up to 2,233 per uh, Monero token right there. So effectively, you, you're not in, uh, and this is people think they're like the bull run's done and it's like, no, 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 no. We've got so, so much further to go in this bull run and which is where you're going to see these other extensions right here come into play you know this parabolic this euphoria overshoot uh, of this 1618 because bitcoin has already got to that 1618 okay and like i said to you the uh, monario is a couple of months behind bitcoin and you can see why it can potentially get there in this bull run so i do see further appreciation for monero but i do want it to sort of slow down a little bit because if it doesn't you potentially just get to this sort of 1272 and roll end of bull run so you want to see this nice continued organic one do you see this about testing previous swing uh, swing highs as swing lows as, as support so what i'm saying it needs to back test this hold its support for continuation to take take these challenges on in the future because you are looking at a, a 935 monero token then you will be looking at a 1336 monero token and then towards the latter part of the bull run right here towards september october you will be looking at a 2231 monero token right there so that's all good Swing high, swing low, appreciation, it's looking relatively good. And like I said to you, from, from the moment there, you know, because Monero is a beast. Everyone knows what Monero is. It's it, full privacy coin. It's, it's, it's a beast. It's been around in a previous bull run, and it, it's amazing. It's a fantastic project when you research it and look into it. I've got a, a dear friend of mine that, that holds quite a lot of Monero, so I wish him all the luck in the world. So basically, from here up to there, 3,000% gains prospectively from that bullish cross uh, that we could have given you if you was around in the in this bear market so that's what I will, we will deliver to you in the, in the next bear market okay all the all the fantastic signals to, to sort of just go long and go to the beach so to speak so yeah good luck to everyone involved in in Monero so far it's looking relatively good for continuation but again it's got a little bit extended on the weekly and you could you could potentially see why you would start to fall back to a key level of support there uh, and, and consolidate before continuation in this bull run so take care everybody I hope you enjoyed that update on Monero that's a future price prediction right there for Monero uh, moving forward in this bull run take care hope you have a good weekend and uh, I'll stay stay strong stay healthy and most importantly Stay tuned and I'll be back again with another update on Monero. Bye-bye.